Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Rules. Yeah, we're on the map side by side today. And this is going to be a replay from the new tournament group, um, which Don King mainly manages. Yeah, they had a tournament last Friday evening. Yeah, and this is one of the games of it. So thanks to everybody for letting me show. Um, I would say let's check out the teams and then we'll go right in the game. Team Blue, we got Don King on the right side as a France. Uh, over here we got Borla as a American. Team Red, we got Hyper Thread as a German, and on the left side, Honorak as a Russian. Mm, yeah, I would say let's just get it rolling and see what they're doing now. So on Team Blue's side, we got lots of Blitz in the back, one in the front, and a Camouflage in the front. Yeah, good place to uh, put the buildings, because there you can team up and everything as a team. Okay, what's Team Blue building? Um, Burle back here is getting one... Okay, so he's getting one supply depot only. He's getting a, a base and a barracks to the front. Okay. On the right side, Don King is getting also only one supply depot. An armor base back here. An armor base in the front. And a Maginot bunker to the front. Yeah, I think on this map, lots of people like to put a Maginot bunker in the front. Um, because it can stop the enemies for a few minutes. And let you build up your stuff slowly and wisely. Okay, Team Red is having lots of blitz in the front, one in the back. Honorak is getting also... No, he's getting... Who's getting this one? Can't see the truck. Yeah, here it is. Okay, Honorak starting off with one, two supply depots. A, a barracks here and a barracks here. I think good start for a Russian. Um, Hyper Threat over here is getting one, two supply depots also. A airfield and... A blockhouse to the front. Interesting. So both of them are going to try to block each other in the middle very fast. Yeah, a lot of people do that on this map. I would say we'll just stay in the game and see what's happening here. Okay, blockhouse is standing. Ah, shit. Okay, so on this side, uh, Borl, Borl just lost the barracks because the uh, blockhouse sniped it. Okay, so now Don King starting off with some S-35 tanks. Uh, uh, Honorak is putting out some recons, spread them out to the sides, and he had one in the middle, but Mr. Maginot Bunker sniped it. Okay, so now back here, the German is starting off with some light bombers. In general, I think good idea against France and everything, and sure against the bunker also, but uh, Bull has got some M16s already and pumping out some Greyhounds also. Honorak's got Gradia already, trying to annoy this recon in the woods. Now comes some JU-87 to support, probably going to try to take down the recon. Yeah, but so if this recon wouldn't have been here, infantry would have messed up everything here very easy, but there's still a Greyhound left. But now he's dead because Blitz and Fanatism, nice aggressive attack from Honorak in the beginning. He's going to probably get the, uh, the armor base, but as a Russian, yeah, he can't pump the, out that much. They're going to take down the base first. Okay, nice support from the M16s against infantry, but this danger is out now. Yeah, they're gonna take down the armor base here. Nice job, the German is taking down tanks with his JU-87s. Okay, so now down here... Ah, he's still using a little infantry, not much. Here comes some sneaky light bombers. Okay, infantry is trying to approach and push back some stuff, but... There's the own recon here and a lot of tanks. So now Hyper Thread is going to try to take down the supply depot. That was a nasty one. They waited with camouflage to the last second. So the bombers thought they could throw their bombs. But now it was on. They couldn't shoot and now they're going to die both because of the AA guns. Nice job. Okay. Yeah, I think good job with the infantry also. Annoying very much in the beginning. But also good job from the German air. Even though he lost a few planes. Yeah, interesting start off from Team Blue. They didn't take that much money. They wanted to have aggressive units out first. But now, I think probably Don King's gonna take a supply depot back here. Yeah, the both bunkers are still alive. Okay, here they're sneaking up a little bit. I think good mixture. A little M16s together with some S35 and a recon. Can be very annoying in the early game. Yeah, German Air is using his planes a lot, not just having him flying around, he's shooting at stuff all the time. Here comes lots of willies to different positions. 
Honorak tried to sneak through a little bit, but the tanks are taking him down. Yeah, this AA is very nasty against the flames. Yeah, back here they're making more and more money. The, uh, Team Red is taking the back supply depots also now. Yeah, Don King's pretty close with his nasty tanks. Yeah, I don't know, they can go right inside the base now. Okay, comes the AT base from Honorak. German air supporting all the time. Okay, yeah, there's just a few stewards here against the infantry stuff. Okay, nice job. So the air guy supported Honorak, so that means Donking has to move back for now. Also, Honorak had the time to produce some AT, AT guns. And they're gonna kick the ass of uh, these tanks here. Okay, in the meanwhile, a Don King researched the Zhao, and that's a pretty good idea, because um, especially the Russian is gonna still use light units for now, so it's gonna have to research to something. Sure, the German planes can take out Zhao's very easy, but we got some M16s on the field to defend them. But now the Germans got lots of Ju-87s. Okay, nice job. Ah, he had yeah. But still, nice job sniping some recon is always a good idea. Honorax pushing up his AT guns to the front. He doesn't know yet that there's Zaws here, probably. Yeah, and now he knows the Zaws are shooting. Nice reaction, so Honorax went right to SU 85. I think pretty good counter against Zaws. Um, and they're not that expensive as a Zaw is, so you can spam him out more. Enough for now. Yeah, lots of M16s are grouping up over here. Okay, now the Zao C. Okay, shit, these are tank destroyers. I'm gonna move back now. Okay, so over here, Hyper Threat is getting Tiger. That's gonna help, definitely. Really, do you need two JU-87s for what? No, I think maybe... Miss Micro on this side, yeah, he's using two against one tank, he would have only needed one. But that's not that problem, he has air superiority anyway. Okay. So early attacks are over now. Now there's some strategical stuff happening, formating and everything. Yeah, now the uh, Don King the France is getting some AT guns out. They can help definitely pretty strong. Also perfect counter against all of these tank destroyers from the Russian. Okay, here comes a little group, some Guardia, oh that's strong. Now the Russian is starting to get Pushka, and that's a good idea, because at the moment um, that's gonna shoot further than the Zaws and everything, and you can shoot right in the side of the base of the enemy now. Ah, oh, nasty, so here, um, Team Red didn't know yet that the France guy is producing AT guns. But now they know, they just got something sniped here. Yeah. Don King's hiding AT guns everywhere. Tiger, the Tiger's moving up now. Yeah, infantry has to move back. That. Okay. So Don, uh, I mean, Don King is moving up a little, no, he's formating his troops, now he's pushing up the AT guns first. To snipe the tank destroyers here, very nasty. Honorax trying to go there with his infantry, but the Zaws are shooting at the infantry all the time. Also, AT guns working here on the um, tank destroyers. Yeah, the Pushka shooting in the bases, uh, in the base all the time, ah, back here. Uh, Hyper Threat has built himself some real King Tigers. Okay, 
JU87 is trying to support here, but the the tanks have backup through M16s. Yeah, putting lots of pressure on Honorak definitely. But now comes the uh, Tigers to support. That's very good because the problem here is these AT guns are a problem for Honorak because he's using tank destroyers. Um, King Tigers can defend against them. Yeah, and also we've got maybe one or two. Yeah, we got two Pushkas out already. That's always good. I think one is not enough to make some uh, proper damage. We need two at least. Yes, Donking is pumping lots of AT guns out, which means um, Team Red can't just attack how they want to. Also here are lots of AT guns. Okay. So, the blockhouse is down, definitely. Magino is still alive, but I think Honorak is focusing on the buildings back here now first, with his uh, Pushkas. Here, ah, oh, that's a nice reaction. I think Honorak, yeah, he got himself some ISUs. Very good decision. Not as expensive as the Pushka, and have an armor against enemy artillery or Zaos. And he can start working on the AT guns in the woods and everything. Also, the German air is sniping some AT guns, wounding him, so the Tigers can defend against them. Now comes the third Pushka. So now they're gonna do very nice damage on the buildings. Donking's pushing uh, King Tigers here with uh, B -A, a B1 in the front. And AT in the back, but yeah, it's dead now already. Yeah, so here the Maginot's down now also. Nice job from German Air taking away Recon as much as possible. Okay. Yeah, ISUs are getting too close to the woods, that's why they're being sniped. Okay, so definitely Pushkas are putting big pressure on Don King now, they're focusing units back here to maybe, oh no, they, they can even see the supply depot, so it's gonna shoot at the buildings and the spread of the artillery is gonna take down more than one building probably if they keep shooting back here. And meanwhile Borl has got himself some super purgings, that's gonna be a big support for the team, ah oh, there were some Atigans in here. Took down one tiger, I think. One king tiger, I mean. Honorak sleeping through some infantry to, through the sides to make some damage through the woods, maybe. Okay, now comes lots of JU87 to take down the Super Pershing. He's using it as a group, that's a good idea. Okay, so uh, Burl has bit, built a barracks over to Don King because that's the weak point of France. They don't have no cheap, uh, cheap uh, infantry. Nice job, Honorak's doing very much pressure also, we shouldn't forget while he's attacking with the infantry, if they get closer they can see buildings and then they're gonna be like a little recon so the push kids can shoot right in base. Same time he's coming in with tank destroyers and infantry to do some pressure on the Zaws and everything. Yeah, the, the GU87s are, tr GU are trying to support, but there's a lot of M16s here. Yeah, Donking has lost a few buildings now in the front. Yeah, also Honorak took over the supply depot, messed up a lot of stuff here. I sneaked the infantry guy back here, trying to get the barracks, then it would be over immediately. Yeah, now Harnarak is aiming at these buildings, he just took down an armor base here on this side. Yeah, Borl has seen it and is pumping out infantry against Harnarak, okay. So what's happening now? On this side we got SU at 100s and King Tiger, okay. Against, uh, for now, a Super Pershing. But here comes lots of AT guns to support. Yeah, shit, they're moving up now. And they are a lot. If they can shoot, they'll take down the infantry. Okay, now Honorak is shooting right inside the base again. But 
but the surrounding of the AT guns are gonna take down the King Tigers definitely. Uh, now the Pushkas are shooting at the AT guns and just took down almost all of them, nice job. Yeah, Hanarak is trying to attack with infantry and AT guns and, and, and tank destroyers, but as we know there's AT guns in here. Now there's some King Tigers moving out here, okay Hanarak's moving back. Three King Tigers left, a force one coming. Lots of Pushkas left, but the problem now is Hanarak doesn't have that many units left now. And now comes a nasty combination, Zaws and AT guns. Yes, this is a big problem, because the infantry is getting shot very nastily by the Zal's uh, assault guns, and if they are da dead, then the AT guns can work on the tank destroyers very easy. Also, over here, Borla is attacking with a few super Pershings. Uh, not looking that good now. Now they're formating against one, good idea. 2v1 is going to be a problem for Honorak to hold it because, as I said before, Super Pershings, AT guns, Saws are pretty strong for now. Sure, Hyperset is trying to build something against it, but this is a big problem, I think. Yeah, I think we can do a little faster now because this one is definitely over, I would say. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nice nice game, I like it. Both sides back and forth, back and forth. They didn't nobody wanted to give up or something like that. They still don't want to give up. Back here we see uh, two admins, okay. Yeah, but now the Zaws can work on the buildings. Almost everything down already. Yep. Okay. Interesting game, I have to say. Last few buildings left. Okay, now it's over. Yeah, so thanks to you guys. Very interesting game, I have to say. Really interesting. Um, back and forth, back and forth. Um, in the end, Team Blue managed to mess up Team Red very easily. Um, very nicely, I mean. Not easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did too. And then I would say, see you next time. Bye bye.